Hello guys, welcome back. So welcome to the second part of the video for uh, normal stress discussion. So we have here a new example. We have um, a rigid bar ABC is supported by a pin at A. So we have pin at this point. And actual member, um, section 1, so this is the actual member, which has a cross-sectional area of 540 mm squared. So actually 540 mm squared the weight of rigid bar can be neglected so we neglect the weight of the bar okay so let's compute letter a determine the normal stress in member one if a load of of 8 kilonewton is applied at c so we have load at this point now we have um, a force p and the value of p is 8 kilonewton okay so let's try to solve P. So if we try to draw the free body diagram of the section, then we have at A, we have here a pin, correct? So at A, then this point B and point C. And since we have 8 kilonewton acting at point C, therefore there is also a uh, counteracting force at point B. So this section 1 has a actual force no and let that actual force be as fb or the force at b or we can say na lang um, pb okay so our goal here is to compute for the stress at b okay so first let's compute um, the force p by using equilibrium equation then we can use summation of moment at a from from your static so we have Summation of moment at A is equal to zero, counterclockwise positive. All the forces counterclockwise are positive. So, so we have PB, okay, and PB rotation is counterclockwise with respect to A, correct? And then the moment arm is 1.6. From the figure, you know, we have moment arm 1.6. So therefore, we have um, positive PB times the moment arm 1.6. Then we have other force P, uh, 8 kilonewton. Then P or 8 kilonewton rotates clockwise with respect to A. Correct. So therefore, since clockwise ang rotation, then we um, we write it as negative. So that's negative. We have 8 kilonewton times we have um, the moment arm that is 2.2 from a that's 2.2 2.2 then equals to zero so you have pb that equals 2 a times 2.2 over 1.6 that is 11 kilo newton so that is the force at b okay so the answer for PB here that is eight, or sorry, that's that is eleven kilo newton. Okay, since we already have the actual force at PB, and since we um, we got a positive value, then therefore our assumption that our PB acting upward is correct. Okay, but if if our answer here is negative, then we assumed it incorrectly. So pa opposite ang direction ng actual force PB. So, pababa pala if negative ang result. But since positive, then we have correct assumption. Okay, since we have PB here, then we know that the force the force acting here is what? That is um, tension. Correct? So, therefore, the actual force, no, if this our section 1, we have actual force acting away from our section okay so therefore it's a tensile force so from here we can now compute or that is 11 kilonewtons so from here we can now compute the stress and we know the stress of a section one that is equal to p over a that's the normal stress so stress we have p here that is 11 thousand correct that is newton over the area of our section 1, 
since the area of this section is 540 square mm or mm square then we we use that as as a denominator so 540 mm square then we have the stress of section 1 that is equal that equals to 20.37 newton per mm squared or that is 20.37 mega pascal so that is the stress of section 1 okay so the stress of this section okay now let's um, compute the second question the maximum normal stress in member 1 must be limited to 50 mpa what is the maximum load magnitude p that may be applied to the rigid bar at c so in other words if the section 1 here if this section um could only have a uh, stress of 50 MPa so di dapat mo, hindi dapat lalagpas ng 50 megapascal ang stress ng section na to so what should be the load na pwedeng i-apply sa point C okay so so let's try to solve so in that case since we have stress at 1 that is equal to 50 megapascal or that is 50 newton per square millimeter <clears throat> then from the formula stress equal to P over A then we can compute for the force at B di ba? At, 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 so we can compute the actual force at section 1 and that is PB so from here we have stress 50 that is equal that equals to PB that is unknown over A then our A here so we have still the same we have the area of the section 1 that is 540 square millimeter okay that is 540 square millimeter okay so um, the unit of 50 is in Newton meter squared So we can now compute PB, we can cancel out mm squared. So the result is 27,000 Newton. Okay, that or that is 27 kilo Newton. So in this case, our PB, our PB has a value of 27 kilo Newton. So our goal here again is to compute for the force that could be uh, that could be used no at point C so in this case we can sum up moment at A so we can summation of moment at A is equal to zero counterclockwise all the forces counterclockwise acting counterclockwise are positive so from here from moment from point A we have two forces that is PB and P that is um, PB, positive ang PB since it acts counterclockwise with respect to A. Then the moment arm or the perpendicular distance to the force is 1.6. Then we have negative P at joint C that is P times the moment arm is 2.2. Okay? So in that case, and equals to 0. Now we have value of P, PB, the value of PB is 27 kilonewton. So therefore, let's substitute 27 times 1.6 minus P times 2.2, that is equal to 0. So we can now compute for P, and that gives us the value of P of 19.636 kilonewton. And the direction of this is, since we assume that the direction of P is downward and we get a positive, we come up with a positive value. Therefore, our P here is acting downward. Okay, so the, our final answer, the value of P that can be used or at acting at joint C should not exceed 19.636. So that means if uh, the value of 
or the value of the load acting at point C is greater than 19.636, so we could come up with greater value of actual force at D. So, hindi na magiging 27 kN. And that would also lead us to a greater value of stress. However, since the stress should be limited to 50 MPa, once... Ma once we get a stress greater than 50 MPa, there's a possibility of failure in the design or in the section. Okay, so, it should be, our stress should be 50 MPa or lesser than this one. Okay?